Hello, welcome to Xfinity. In this video, I will show you how to import essential graphics in Premiere Pro very easily. Basically, we are going to see how to import .mogrt file in Premiere Pro in very easy steps. I will also show you how to import motion graphics template and edit it after installing in detail. So stick with me till the end of this video because I will also show you some errors while importing essential graphics and its easy solution. So let's start. Alright fellas, in this video I am going to show you how you can import the essential motion graphics template or you can say simply the essential graphics in Premiere Pro very easily. In this video I will show you how you can import the essential graphics or you can say .mogrt that is the extension of the that template and also I will show you how you can use the template basically it is used for lower thirds or transitions or motion graphics so that is going to be very very easy tutorial and uh, you need to make sure to watch this video till the end so that you know how to import the uh, essential graphics easily or dot mogrt file all right fellas as you can see i'm right inside me adobe premiere pro and here you need to first of all see the top navigation that includes different options and you need to navigate straight into the graphics because we are going to import the graphics that is essential graphics and in case if you are unable to see the essential graphics or your window is not open or you have accidentally closed this panel let me close this panel and uh, even if you go to the graphics and you are unable to see the graphics panel you don't need to panic anymore because you need to go to window and uh, navigate to the essential graphics and once you select this option you will see your essential graphics panel to the right side of your premiere pro and once you see the essential graphics you need to import the essential graphics so let us import the essential graphics file for this i need to navigate to the path where it is located there it is it is the lower third let me open the properties and let me show you what is the extension of this file this is motion graphics template or .mogrt so this is the motion graphics template that we are going to import very easily in premiere pro so click on ok and you need to simply drag this file into this panel and uh, that's it your template has been imported into the essential graphics and in case if you are in the added panel by chance and if you drag it the lower third into your graphics panel you won't be able to drop it into the essential graphics so you need to make sure you are in the browse option as you can see this is the browse option and if I drag it into my essential graphics panel it is saying that plus copy so it means that it is okay I can drop it into the essential graphics all right fellas in order to find this file you need to write the name as you saw the name was lower third and I will write the lower and once the search result has been displayed I will navigate to that template as, as I can see this is the lower third underscore 08 and I will drag it into my timeline you may see some kind of warnings because as you can see there is a sign of exclamation right to the text it means that the text is not important or the fonts are not imported in the Premiere Pro so once this template has been loaded now you simply need to click on this and now you can see the panel has been changed from browse to edit and I can see the options here but I am not able to see the uh, lower third in my preview window so for that I will select this template and I will navigate to the effect control by selecting this uh, my layer and I will keep the scale to 50 and now I can see the template in my within my frame so now if I click on position and now I can move it easily so now you can move it to the lower left side of your screen just like this and now let us explore how we can edit this template in order to edit this template you simply need to select this layer and you need to make sure you are in the graphics panel and you will see the main text here which is 
mate tyler i don't know what is the name i will write here subscribe and uh, i will also this is the sub text as you can see our department assistant and I will click on this one and write so boom guys as you can see I have successfully edited the template which is subscribe my channel and uh, in order to further customize it this is a text property and if I click on this I can use the font but I like milk this is the lemon milk this is a very good font and for the subtext too I will click on text properties and I will select my favorite font which is lemon milk and as you can see this looks very very cool and for further customization you can uh, select the bold or the normal here as you can see the options this is the bold text as you can see this is becoming bolder and this is the italic font and same is the case with the text properties in the uh, subtext you can also apply the properties here just like this in order to scale this you can see this slider here if i drag it to the left it will decrease in size and if i drag it to the right the text will increase in size so you can select whatever you like for the subtext properties i can also do this so that's very cool and for the colors i can select my favorite colors just like this i can select white or i can select red this is the red or i can select the yellow i think yellow will look fine this is the yellow text and you can also use the dropper eyedropper if i drag it to any position of my premiere pro it will trace the color and it will easily uh, copy the color that i'm going to point just like this if you select the skew option it will change its rotation something like this and you can also control the size of this template you can also position it just like this you can also set the position of y-axis you can also set uh, the position of the main text you can also set the position of the uh, y-axis along the y-axis you can also set the sub position of uh, position of the subtext and so on and if you select this option this is a sub uh, subtext uh, check mark and that's very cool in this way you can easily import the essential graphics and you can customize it very easily so i hope that video was very very helpful and if you like this video don't forget to uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to uh, comment down below if you face any problem in importing the essential graphics or using it. I will try my best to respond and help you out in any case. So that's it guys and in my next video I will show you how you can create a uh, intro just like me. As you saw in the intro that was very cool. In my next video I will show you how you can create an intro like this. So another update is I am creating my own websites where you can download the graphics templates or motion graphics as I use in my videos easily. It, it is just like a blog you can download whatever you want it is free for every, everyone. So that was the update and thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you a very very happy day. See you again.